Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q4 of the recent bi weekly contest Find Longest Awesome Substring. So, uh, so for the, basically, to understand the problem first, uh, for this problem, let me refresh real quick. Um, you're trying to take any substring and then see if the, well, I mean, like another way of phrasing is you, let's say you have some random substring, you want to see if it can be a palindrome, right? Um, and and that's pretty much and then and then from all those substrings you take the longest possible ones um and the key observation here is noting that well for a substring um you know it could be a palindrome if if um the number of characters are all evened out meaning um meaning if there's you know, uh, the even numbers of every character except for one character, which it can have an odd number. Uh, so that's kind of the observation. For example, in this case, all the twos, you know, the even number of the twos, the even number, even number of fours, and then if you add the three, well, same thing, even number of twos, even number of threes, but one odd three. And you only have and one odd to not pair off to make it a palindrome, right? So that's the observation here. Uh, and anytime you, well, n is 10 to the fifth, so anytime you see something like that, uh, well, you obviously know that it should be linear um, or n log n, I guess, if you really want to do that. Um, but n, n log n-ish uh, is, is your max. Uh, so from that, well, because we care about consecutive substrings, so we, we try to figure out, well, at, this, at any certain point, can we find out what is the longest previous um, thing that makes it a palindrome, right? Well, the answer is yes, actually. So what, what happens is that we use something called prefix sum. Uh, and this is going to be a little bit tricky uh, um, to explain without prefix sum. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a video on prefix sum because I think that's also the daily contest or daily pro challenge problem. Uh, so I'm going to do an exp explanation of prefix sum there. Um, so stay tuned for that. But that is a prerequisite. So I might explain things in a way that if you don't already have a good understanding of prefix sum, uh, you might not be able to uh, uh, follow along, but don't worry. I'll have another video for you to kind of, uh, you know, make sure that that gets that. Uh, but yeah, but this is my really short twenty lines of code. Uh, and if you are familiar with prefix sum, then that, then the idea is that okay, we we keep a running count um, of. So my, my my idea initially was just to go keep a count of all the possible. Um, like how many ones there are, how many twos there are, and that's their state, right? But then, uh, as we said, um, you only need them to be given number. So, so then, from that, I I did this thing where well, I use a bit mask, but I only keep track of whether for each digit whether there's an odd number of them or even number of the on the prefix. Um, and the idea is that okay. Let's say you yeah you know, yeah. Uh, let's take a random. Uh, let's take let's take this case right. Um. So he, at here we have one three. Uh. At the at the next point, we have one three one two. And then at the next point we have one three one four. Uh. So none of this is palindromes yet, except for. Um. Except for that, you could say maybe, perhaps, uh, that uh, you have a one character palindrome. But that's skipping odd palindromes for now. Uh, let's say you have two, right? Well, now your two twos, uh, they even out, so that's to say they're zero twos, right? They're odd. We only keep track of odd and even. Well, have we seen this state before? Well, the answer is yes, right? Well, okay. Actually, we're, we're skipping the odd number, so let's just ignore that for, for a second. Um, but, okay, let's say we get to four, right? Well, now the even numbers of twos and even numbers of fours, but one three, right? Have we seen this state before? The answer is yes, right? Uh, so this is the same as prefix sum. And the, the last time we saw this state was at after the first um, entry or the first index. So therefore, we... Um, you know, we keep track of the index, which is what we do here. Though actually, I should put this after this. Hmm. That's actually curious, but that it luckily still works. But um, well, I guess this is just zero if it isn't there. But but yeah, 
But basically, because we avoid seeing the state we, and we keep track of the index of the pre previous state, then it, the the distance is just the current index minus the prefix in the previous index, right? Um, so that's kind of the idea between prefix sum for for the palindrome uh, for the matching up. Um, and then now we have to deal with okay, one odd digit, right? As we talk about. So what I did was that I just brute force it. I say okay, let's say there's an odd digit of three. What's the previous, you know? case where that is the case and then pre uh, and then we brute force it for every number uh, and then see w the last iteration where that's the case and then take the longest from that uh, so that's kind of the idea uh, and if you have a pr if you have a foundation in prefix sum I think this is relatively straightforward the hard part is getting again the states about reducing them um, the tricky observations are a couple one is again uh, making sure that once you prefix sum uh, all the you know the the substring should have even number of every digit except for one, uh, and then two is reducing that state to just odd, taking track of odd and even, and then the third one maybe is just brute forcing because there are only ten digits. Um, which one is the odd number uh, or odd number of digits? Um, yeah. So actually, I solved this before uh, be in much shorter time than I solved in Q3. But anyway. Uh, well, you could watch me solve it live right about now, but oh yeah, and this is linear time because in every iteration we do all of one number of operations and all of n space. Uh, the the technically is two to the ten space, um, where ten is the number of digits, and because mask can only be two to the ten, so mm, two to the alphabet uh, size of the alphabet space. But yeah, anyway, now you could watch me solve it live now. Okay. Wow, I'm really behind today. A lot of penalties. I see.
I know it's not right yet. Et... Oh, yeah, silly. Oh, what? Oh, I see. 